So our first day cycling in Australia isn't ending so well. My free hub just broke. So after a complicated first day cycling out of Sydney and then yesterday one repair day, um, today we left our host place again and are now finally starting, hopefully, <laughs> our adventure across Australia. So there it is. Our first kangaroo sign. <laughs> We've only seen one dead kangaroo yesterday, <laughs> but no living kangaroos yet. But at least a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> gonna have an accident in Australia it's probably because we're looking for wildlife right now we're trying to spot a koala and they live on the eastern southeastern side of Australia so yeah we've got to spot them within the next days or weeks <laughs> and in general it's just so nice and peaceful cycling here there are hardly any cars. The only thing you can hear is birds and our tires on the ground. So this is now the second night in a row that we are spending at one of these free campsites. Um, unlike the one yesterday, this one is completely empty. There is literally nothing and no one here. Um, and it's just in the middle of the woods. It's really nice here. The last hours cycling this um, trail, we didn't see any cars. And um, yeah, it's just really great. But as you can see, um, it's getting dark really early. The days is really, really short here. Um, it's now 5 p.m. or 10 minutes past 5 p.m. Um, the sun already set probably 20 minutes ago. And um, yeah, it's almost dark. And yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to cycle and then still cook in the dark. And yeah, so far it's always now ended in us yeah, cooking well into the pitch black of night. <laughs> But yeah, it's really cool here. Yesterday we descended out of the mountains and uh, now for the next couple of days we will be following the Murrumbidgee River. 
Um, this river runs through the Riverina, which is an agricultural region in southwest New South Wales. And as you can see, it's already gotten much flatter. <laughs> um, but still, there are a few hills here and there, but they will also disappear within the next days and it's gonna get extremely flat. In fact, we will cycle across the Hay Plain, um, which is considered one of the flattest places on Earth. Even though we've been searching for them all the time, we haven't been lucky enough to see koalas anywhere yet. Uh, so this morning we're cycling to a koala reserve where there is supposed to live about 200 koalas in a small area. So hopefully today we'll see one or two. No koalas yet, but a massive thunderstorm. So that was unfortunate. <laughs> the road is uh, really muddy now and there's only supposed to be a small break between two thunderstorms. We just saw that on radar and uh, yeah, we will try to catch a glimpse of a koala and uh, then yeah, make our way out of the reserve because the roads won't get better with a second thunderstorm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, it's getting really dark again now and probably the next thunderstorm is coming so we gotta head back to the bikes and of course we didn't see a koala. We're really disappointed. two years of our journey we've never experienced such sticky mud on so many different roads as we have now um, cycling through the Riverina here in Australia. So you could say we've learned our lesson and today um, we are waiting out some really heavy rain in a small motel in Mildura. And um, as you could maybe tell in the last clips um, of this film and also by the new, our new name on YouTube and Instagram, it's no longer Chains and Chords, but Louisa and Toby, and our new logo. Um, a few days ago, we actually decided to leave our guitar behind on our journey around the world. It's been a decision a long time in the making, but in, especially in recent months, we were back and forth on it a lot. Um, but yeah, we finally came to the conclusion that we want to continue this journey without our guitar. Um, yeah, anyway, I think that's all we have to say about that. Thank you for watching our video and we hope you join us in the next episode as we cycle across the Nullarbor.